first into the tank tonight is a young man from Sydney with a tasty solution to a dietary problem. I'm incredibly proud of my business and so I'm really confident the sharks are going to be, be biting. Hi, my name is Alex Hausman. I'm the founder of Over the Moo Coconut Milk Ice Cream. I'm 28 and I'm from Sydney. I'm seeking an investment of $250,000 in exchange for 8% equity of the business. Now, it looks like you've all uh, had a long day and you might need something sweet. So why don't you come up to the van and my lovely marketing poobah will serve you some of oh, our oh, oh. coconut milk ice cream. Absolutely. Get in line, get okay. in line. Chocolate, caramel, vanilla? Oh my God, a whole one. A whole tab. Enjoy. Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Shark's choice today. Shark's choice. Mango. Mango? Mango? Of course. Mm. That is pretty damn good. Can I have a caramel? Enjoy. Wonderful, thank you. Yum. Thank you. You're welcome, enjoy. Oh my God. It's so good. So thank you very much, Eleanor, our marketing poobah. We've developed a product which is absolutely dairy-free. It's also gluten-free. It's massively vegan. But the critical element, as I hope you can attest, is that it tastes absolutely delicious. Oh, my God. Oh, amazing. Oh, of course I'm good. Alex, you can pretty much say anything you like. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah, yeah I'm in. we're all yeah, in. I'm in. Good to hear, good to hear. <laughs> it's so good. I first came up with the idea for Over the Moo about two years ago. I was sitting on the couch and I was watching Game of Thrones with my girlfriend. <laughs> she was eating ice cream straight from the tub and having a great time, just as you are right now. I, on the other hand, had nothing. I'm lactose intolerant, and so when it comes to enjoying ice cream on the couch, I'm left out in the cold. So considering that the Australian ice cream industry racked up sales of $1.1 billion last year. I knew there was a business opportunity here. So 20 months ago, I got my first batch of stock from my manufacturer. I loaded up my parents' car and I went door knocking. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> well done. More should do that. Well done. Well done, Alex. <laughs> it's been a journey. Um, um, within a month, I had 15 stockists. Good. Now we're just short of 300 independent grocers across all states of Australia. Lactose intolerance is officially the most common food intolerance in Australia. Milk alternative sales in Australia last year totaled $157 million and 6% growth. The business proposition that I'm bringing today and the business proposition of over-the-moo, dairy-free coconut milk ice cream is to sell our wonderful ice cream to the same people who are already buying soy and almond milk. But we can't do it alone, and this is why I'm here, and this is where the sharks come in. Thanks for your time. Great. This is good. Yeah, really good. Like, really, really good, good yeah. Alex. Uh, so, Alex, that's uh, 250000 for 8%. So you're valuing your business at 3.125 million? Correct. Good. Have you um, run a business before? No. No. So tell us how tough the first year in business has been. I don't think anyone who hasn't started a business doesn't realise the bootstrapping, the, the hours, the pain you go through. And you, you're up to your second year in business now, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah. So tell us about it. So the, the first thing I did was um, I moved, moved home. Um, so, yeah, my parents, um, sorry, getting a bit emotional here. <laughs> um, yeah, my parents had just been really supportive. <laughs> sorry, this, I don't know why I'm getting so emotional about this, but it's been a journey. <laughs> okay, well, that's embarrassing. Um... <laughs> it's not actually. We've all been through it. Sorry, yeah, just a bit. It's all coming up, I suppose. It was a really lonely journey, um, but pushed on because I believed in, in everything. And um, yeah, really proud. Uh, that was hard, but to admit that is a very, very, very positive thing. Mm, appreciate that. Yeah, thanks. So we've probably got to get into the hard facts now. Yep. I really want to get a bit more excited and somehow relate it to the immense evaluation you put on this business. Yeah, uh, sure, yeah. 
Uh, so we're already the market leader of the coconut milk ice cream segment. I'd approached Coles last year. The sales process has, uh, I suppose, begun. Since February this year, we've been trialling in selected Woolworths stores, um, and they would like to put us into 550 stores. Ooh. Wow. So our projections for calendar 17 are a total sales of 1.8 million. And what would your profit be on the 1.8 million? 3.5% net profit, um, which is around 70,000. 70,000? Yes. So three years from now, we're looking at turning over $3 million, resulting in a take home of 500,000. The problem is right now, though, is your net profits are scheduled to be seventy thousand bucks, and you've come here with a with a, a valuation over three million bucks. So, in, in every estimation, that's pretty adventurous, right? So that would be theoretically with the coals on board and with an export wing as well. You believe you're going to go from one point eight to three million bucks in revenue? Is that what you're saying? Yep. Five years from now, we're looking at expanding the product line, so going beyond ice cream. Anything that con currently contains dairy can potentially be replicated as a dairy-free alternative. The ice cream category, as you know, is huge. What you've done is create your own category within a big category, which is great. But the, um, the valuation is pretty out there, right? Because. Okay. Truly, Woolworths and Coles, they change their mind all the time. It's part of their business. So you might be in there, but if you don't sell a minimum of five, six, seven products per store, you're gone. OK. But the product was great. I really like you, and I think that you've got that determination I really look for in the partner. So I am going to make you an offer. But because you've asked for $250,000, the offer I'm going to give you is I will give you 250,000 for 49%. Oh. <laughs> have you done the numbers? Uh, yeah, I have. Yep. Okay, what yeah. you tell me what you what, tell me. What number did you come up with, Steve? I've been, I've been looking over your shoulder doing the numbers too. You didn't do them correctly, but that, that, because the numbers are correct doesn't mean it's a good deal. Steve, I can tell you, Janine's maths I actually agree with and I think you're being a bit generous. The numbers I've done are actually quite reasonable. But you didn't try the caramel, did you? I did, actually, I did. I mean, if you tried the caramel, you'd pay anything. Well, then here, then are you about to make an offer? <laughs> okay, really appreciate the offer, Janine. Uh, it, it, is, it is too low. All right, Alex, I'll give you an offer. Okay. Um, 250,000 bucks for 25%. 25%. Pretty sharp. There's no pond scum flavour in my offer. I'm not a bottom feeder. You can't add up then. Give him a calculator. I'm not a bottom feeder. So, so while they're thinking about that, you do you own the recipe, right? Uh, no. Whoa. When the sharks tasted Alex's delicious lactose-free coconut milk ice cream. They started circling. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. I will give you 250000 for 49%. It is too low. All right, Alex, I'll give you an offer. 250000 bucks for 25%. But Steve may have bitten too soon. Do you own the recipe, right? Uh, no. Whoa. Well, I have exclusivity with my um, manufacturer for our all of our formulations in perpetuity, but so you can't take that recipe and take it to a factory overseas and supply Ben and Jerry's in the US, for example, can you? Uh, no. OK, all right, all right. Let's understand what you're talking about here, right? So you have a great business here, a great growing business that someone else owns intellectual property for. How certain is your contract of supply? Is it is, is a price set? Is a price set every six months? What, what actually happens there? We have a price change every six months. Um, and do they get to set the price or do you? Uh, they, they would set, set the price. So when you actually do do three million bucks in calendar year, whatever, and they go, wow, that's a great business. Guess what? Price has gone up 
What happens then? It happens. We would, we would have to move. OK, Alex, I'm going to withdraw my offer. OK. I, I should have actually asked that question. Thank you, Andy. M mate, you need a whole new set of serious advice here because you need to own or have a massive amount of control over your intellectual property or the pricing that the owner provides without that ownership. I, I'm out. I'll, I'll, make, I'll take no further part in this, Alex. Yeah. OK, I'm out. Good luck. This is an investment for me. I think to get you where you need to go, Alex, you need a million bucks or more. I'm sorry, I'm out. Thanks a lot, Andrew. I love your brand. I think you're on your entrepreneurial journey, but I feel a vulnerability because of your supply. So for that reason, I'm out. OK, thanks a lot. My pleasure. So. Four sharks are out, just one shark left. I'm going to make you an offer. Yep, OK. So I want to come on a journey with you, but I've got to price in the risk of this issue around your IP. OK. 250000 for 40% of your company. As I said, over the moo, I think it's the best tasting ice cream in Australia. We agree. We are the market leader. Um, really appreciate your offer, Glenn. Um, based on your valuation, I can't uh, accept your offer. Have you a counter offer for me? That's how business works. You know there's a uh, counter offer? Any counter offer that I could make uh, is just too far for Glenn uh, to, to, to jump. You came in for 8%. It's a long way off 40%. But I mean, what would your counter offer be if you made one? It would be 250000 for uh, 15%. 15%. Right. So that's as high as you can go. Are you ready, Glenn? You ready to write the check? We're still in very separate positions. Uh, in fact, we're no, not even in the same house, we're not in the same street. We may be in the same suburb, so that's about it. But sorry, mate, I can't, I can't counter. OK. Good luck. Thanks for your time, guys. And great product. See you. See you it's later. It's a later. beautiful thing. Love the ice cream, hate the valuation. Love the ice cream, hate the valuation. Wow, that was an emotional roller coaster in there. Absolutely. Yeah, it was exciting and really flattering and, uh, yeah, Great, great to be receiving an offer. Really unfortunate that we couldn't really... Um, like they weren't sharing the same vision. Every time I see this product in Woolies or Coles, I'll go, what could have been? Yeah, you could have had it. Been?